to be honest, we didn't set out to build our dream house or even plan to build a sustainable house. We were just a young family with a very tight budget, a two-year-old toddler, and we realized our tiny two-bedroom 1940s Hills Cottage was much too small, cold, and expensive to run. Like many typical Aussie families, we needed to renovate. But we were doing it during a once-in-a-lifetime pandemic. There are many examples of houses that are more sustainable or energy efficient than ours. But we wanted to prove that any family on a modest budget could build a sustainable house at no extra cost simply by making smart design choices that don't cost any extra. Both of us come from a building and design background, so we knew that whatever we built would have to meet the minimum sustainable design principles. We just couldn't imagine doing it any other way. It all starts with good solar passive design and that meant completely reorienting the house to suit our block, which is a long, skinny, quarter acre sloping block with erosion overlays, a lot of shading, bells and nine bushfire zone. While most houses usually face the street, we put our largest windows on the north facing our neighbor's block. Lucky they have a beautiful front yard. So the key design principle for this house is we try to maxi maximize the solar and access to the house. So we are standing at this modern um, facing aspect here. And as you can see, there's a lot of windows and a sliding door um, happening on this side of the building. And we also created the largest window and sliding door on this side as well. And some high sky um, skyline windows too. So in, in creating those increase the windows, so we can um, inviting the sunlight coming in to naturally warm, um, heating up the the house itself. So we decided to use this bamboo flooring. It's about thirty dollars per square metre cheaper than hardwood flooring, but also because it's sustainable. So it's got a twenty-five year warranty. Um, so it's quite durable and it's actually harder than hardwood. But one of the main features is that it's more sustainable than hardwood because bamboo is a renewable resource. So when they harvest the bamboo, the bamboo can grow again, unlike hardwood uh, timber when you cut the tree down and the tree is dead. So yeah, I really recommend this product. Um, you can see here it's actually called strand woven bamboo. So they, um, they use the fibre from the bamboo um, and then they treat it in such a way it looks just as good as um, hardwood timber. Um, yeah, great product. So, more sustainable option for your flooring. One of the things we've tried to do through the whole project is to use as many recycled 
materials as possible or recycle wherever we could. And even with our kitchen's flashback, we've sourced um, crockery off Facebook Marketplace and used it to make a beautiful mosaic for our splashback. Our house is also fully electric. And when it came to choosing paint, we've used a very unique product called Graffin Stone, which is a almost a zero VOC paint product, which is manufactured right here in Australia. And it actually absorbs carbon out of the atmosphere. So it's got no smell whatsoever. Um, it's completely non-toxic and it's actually taking chemicals out of the atmosphere. So it's absolutely brilliant product and um, looks pretty much the same as any other paint. Uh, it's also very cost effective because you can get away with only two coats, which obviously cuts down on labor. Thank you.